Heyo everyone, it is Loki Monster here, and today I'm going to be running the Sandwich Dungeon to show you the easiest way if you're having a harder time with it. Now, I discovered this recently quite by accident when I made a little flub. So you can just zip on past these guys, you don't have to fight them, there's no reason to. And when you get here, if you can parkour, you can jump it across, but I'd rather just take the path because I can't jump. <laughs> so we're gonna go and fight Torquey. It's uh, wise to use a ranged class for this, and I like to use uh, Ranger and uh, Blitzy's Cross skill for this. The reason I want Blitzy's Cross skill is because it gives me the ability to trap her in place, which I just did. Now, right off the bat, I have her locked in place. Now she's going to spawn her little uh, sand slime buddy here. And I'm going to go and trap both of them into place. And I'm just going to back off. This way, the uh, further away I am, it's easier to dodge her attacks. Now, once the sand slime's gone and you've knocked her down until she uh, resets and the altars come up, normally most people immediately kill these altars well don't <laughs> I know I know what you're thinking but look where is she she's nowhere to be found so I only have to worry about killing the three of them instead of working on four enemies so I'm just gonna trap and kill these guys and get them out of the way so once I have them all defeated you will see she's still not here she will not appear until I hit this tower again. So if you're hurt, you can run around, uh, build up a little HP, and, uh, and allow your timers to fill up if need be. So now she's going to spawn her two little green fellas, and these guys are a little tougher. So you really don't want her around. So again, I'm not going to hit the altars. I'm just going to take on the two of them. Now, you might be wondering if uh, by just attacking her minions first, am I losing or adding extra time? The answer is no, I'm not. Um, I discovered that uh, by recording it both ways, that the times were all very, very similar within a few seconds. So again, if you're taking some damage and you need some time to heal, you can take advantage of that here. When you're hitting the towers, you always want to hit them in the reverse order of the way they came up. So you want the last one first, and then the second one second, and then the first one last for this section. Once the colored lights start to swirl, then you just have to hit the three towers in that order and simply kill her before her circle expands to the entire space of the dungeon. And I'm sure you'll discover that this was a lot easier way than trying to take her and her minions on at the same time. I want to thank you for joining me and if you like my videos hit that thumbs up and subscribe and share with your friends i hope you join me next time bye